Now we, you and I, you and I alone were live, <laughs> and it was one of those things that if I didn't pay attention or something, that we might still be talking to each other, and our audience would be like, "Where's David and Stephen?" Hello, Stephen. Welcome back. Hello, David. It's good to be back, and it's good to be back broadcasting live in the UK and Canada and around the globe as we talk about building your community. That's the title of the show. It isn't necessarily what we talk about, though, is it? Broadcasting to your community. Yeah. Building and broadcasting. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, you never know what we're going to talk about here. But um, while well, we were just talking about what we could talk about, which is you were at a very special uh, gathering in Dublin on behalf of Facebook. Uh, yes, it's called Facebook Gather, and it takes place once a year. And Facebook invites businesses who are active on Facebook to go along for what is effectively three days right. and learn about what is happening at Facebook. And we were told what's going on with uh, Messenger and Instagram. And a lot of useful information given out. Uh, before we went there, a team of 50 was put together by my good friend, uh, Mike Turner, which meant we talked before the event and uh, we're flown into Dublin Put up in a very nice hotel it has to be said and uh, then on the monday was over to croke park which is the home of gaelic football okay what do you know about gaelic football david uh, 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 i i've got the same answer i've got exactly the same answer i <laughs> i know nothing about it i can't even the, pronounce it <clears throat> yeah it's it's the home of gaelic football and i was shown the, the trophies and everything and offered a conductor tour of the ground. It's that sort of place where it is uh, an important part of Irish life. Uh, okay. But it is Gaelic football gives it away in that it's Gaelic. And um, therefore, it's, it's um, I'm going to choose my words with care. It is a national sport, and we should respect that. Um, but they do have a good soccer team as well, or football team. Um, so we spent the day at Croke Park, very well organised by Facebook. Facebook effectively took over the, uh, the stadium for the whole of Monday the 21st. And uh, we had, well, I'll just show you the, there you go. That's it, Facebook Gather. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, <clears throat> over, over the course of the morning, uh, we were fortunate to be addressed by speakers. Um, and... The main speaker was Charles Sandberg, who, of course, is the chief operations officer of Facebook. And uh, she basically did two things. One, she told us the direction Facebook was going to take. And the second thing is that she apologized to everybody in the room. Um, and I'm passing that apology on now. Uh, they are aware that there were problems in 2018 in terms of fake news, political news. In fact, anything that could go wrong in our news feeds did. They're getting on top of it. Uh, they are hiring a thousand additional staff who will work in Dublin. So that's good for the Irish economy. Mm. And their sole job is to monitor our news feeds so wow. that over time they will improve. So that's a good step forward. Mm. Facebook themselves are majoring on Facebook pages, Facebook groups, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Now, uh, a couple of days after the show, we got the news, which we'll talk about in a moment, that Facebook are merging Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger, uh, which is a major step forward. Um, we also heard from the Prime Minister of uh, ERA, Ireland, and she told us about Brexit from their point of view. Normally, we just hear it from our politicians. We heard about it from her. That was most interesting, too, to get somebody else's view. Right. And then we had... Uh, speeches given by uh i'm going to get the let's see let me get to the right page just give me a moment while i have a look at this no i don't remember uh, i'll get the names wrong matt clifton who's the product marketing marketing lead for small and medium business and kieran quilty Kul who's the vice president of global business and between them they give us a, an overview of what's going to happen and uh, it's going to be an exciting time to actually be involved and we were treated like royalty for the whole of the three days. Very enjoyable. And uh, if they have another one next year, I'll put my hand up. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, of course, everybody's, uh, uh, I mean, and good for you. That's exciting. I'm happy for you that you're, you're able to be a part of something. I'm, you know, in a uh, professional envy of you, um, of course, but uh, uh, I'm happy for you that you were able to do that because that's, uh, that's for Facebook to tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, we care about what you have to say and you're important to us mm -hmm. yep. and we're going to pay for everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's that's true. The it's kind of cool, right? it's on the hotel. Yeah. yeah. So in uh, fact, the, this the apocryphal story is I did uh, get a hundred euros uh, before I went because oh. it's obviously a different currency, so currency exchange, and I brought most of that back. So there you are. Oh, awesome! Did you year. did you get any? Uh, um, uh, of course, everybody's going like Stephen. What what's the What's the? I gotta fix my chair. Uh, what did, what top secrets did you get? Blah, blah. If they were secrets, folks, Stephen couldn't tell you. Just so you know, <laughs> we the, the, one of the first things we did when we got to the hotel was to register, and we had to sign an NDA. Yeah. Now those are not things that you take lightly. So no. there is a lot of things I can't actually talk about, but I can yeah. give you a general view. Um, but. Facebook are concentrating on getting things right, on helping small businesses. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. It was back in May last year that I was invited to join the group. Right. And uh, I went uh, with 50 other people from the UK, uh, all who got to know each other over the course of the three days. And uh, there were four afternoon sessions about Messenger, Instagram, etc. And I ducked out of one of those to actually talk to somebody about Messenger because uh, they had their headquarters staff available. You can ask them technical questions. And I went to one of them at, to talk about the live video hub and Messenger and the use of Messenger bots. And one particular bot, really, because I wanted to know whether they'd heard of it. I wanted to know whether, well, at the end of the day, there's a new bot, and it's not many chat. And I wanted mm -hmm. to be sure before I invested time and money in it, that it hadn't flagged anything up at Facebook. But that was well, you, can, the one you and RJ were talking about. That's right. Hmm. And I can report back directly from uh, Facebook that they are uh, not unhappy with it. I think that's the best way to say it. They're, right. they're, they're, they've not had any bad reports of it. So that's all good, uh, which means that things are full steam ahead with a new bot. Okay. And in fact, if you're watching on the live video hub today, or be live in five, all you have to do is type hello, and you'll get a personal reply as we're live from David and myself, and a link to actually join us on the correct page. And all of that is done by autoresponder bot. Anyway, back to the conversation. I was okay, having. no, that's cool. That's good to know. Um, well, and I know RJ will be happy about that because she had concerns, right? Wanting to make sure that everything was on the... Yep, on the RJ is very happy, but RJ is currently on a cruise to Mexico. Yeah, bummer. <laughs> it's a uh, it's hard life, isn't it? Hard life. We've had like uh, minus... Uh, last week we were down, we were like minus 29 with the wind chill factor. And uh, last few days it's been like minus 10, minus 12. Ouch. You know what? People around here complain, and I'm like, you live where you live. You chose right. to live here. We live in southwestern Ontario. This is the weather, and if you want the weather to change in southwestern Ontario, wait 30 minutes. It will. <laughs> That's the way it is around here. I like it's, Melbourne. Right. And in a few months, guess what everybody will be complaining about? It's too the hot. Weather. It's a <laughs> national pastime. And, anyway. Uh, Quinn was um, saying he loves the bot. Um, yeah. He said nice background. I'm, I'm not sure if he's talking to you or me, but I don't know what's different. Both of us, David, both of us. Let's both take that one. Okay, all right. I, I, I can I can go with that. But, uh, <laughs> now, I, right. let me ask you this question, and I know, like, I'm, and I'm not trying to trick you or pry anything out of you that you're not supposed to say, and you're too smart for that anyway. But uh, I do have kind of a general question. And this this has come up uh, at, at my course at the college. I'm having a little battle with the kids. Not really a battle, but a fun sort of discussion. Yeah. Um, because I, I see Facebook in the last year 
have done some things uh, to try to attract the younger demographic back onto their platform. Yeah. And that's just a, an observation. I don't know that that's what they were trying to do, but that's kind of what I, I took from it. Is was was demographics a part of the conversation? And would I be accurate in saying that there there there's things like that that they're working on to try to? Because obviously they'd like to capture the whole world on their platform. I'm thinking. I true. Uh, I mean, I, I looked up the demographics this morning, and the the sort of eighteen to twenty fours are low compared to the next three age brackets actually on there if you if you google facebook demographics then there's a nice graph from last year which actually shows you oh. exactly what's going on um and they did say that, that they, their target this year is you and i it's businesses yeah um that's that's their main thrust and that's why the the conference actually takes place facebook gather is designed for small to large businesses. There's a guy there, I don't know whether this is true or not, who said he spent a million dollars, million dollars a year on Facebook adverts. Um, <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> I've said. Uh, so it ranged from small businesses uh, right up to, uh, to larger businesses. And uh, I suppose my highlight of the weekend was, as I said, I spoke to the people at Facebook Messenger HQ and I told them that uh, live cross posting was brilliant. Best thing Facebook has done in a long time. Yeah, good. That that news uh, described what the live video hub did. And then in the evening, uh, an evening soiree or dance, as we call it, uh, picture a ballroom, 350 people, live uh, entertainment, live group on. In fact, there's a video on my timeline and people dancing away. There was, David, a free bar serving Guinness, free bar all night, oh and food, finger food, uh, which was brilliant, came out of the kitchen, piping hot. And uh, I was just been there about an hour, and I got this tap on my shoulder and uh, turned to my left, and the gentleman said, hello, I'm Wade from Facebook HQ. And uh, for the next, he said, can you tell me more about the live video hub? So that obviously trickled down from my afternoon session to the evening session. And uh, I had a, a good chat with him. And I've made contact with him now that we're back at our respective desks. And hopefully over the next couple of months, uh, you know, he will be able to help with my video hub. Any information that I gather will not be subject to an NDA. And uh, I'll pass it on this show each week. Oh, fantastic. So they're there to help business. They're helping the live video hub and uh be TV. so we'll basically we'll be able to use that in the show right. so i'm looking forward to that yeah for sure well you know this is a really good example for um facebook and connecting and what i mean by that is i think and you know we if we have a problem like you know send an email to facebook sure right you know they're not yeah. they're not as accessible as a lot of us would like to be but here's an example of being able to, you know, I, you, you're in the right place, right time, sure, whatever. But I mean, you've worked hard at uh, all your live streaming and all your businesses that you have and the live video hub. Holy cow, that's a lot of work, what you've done to get it there. So, I mean, it is possible to be recognized and then to be able oh. to, to have things go to the next level, right? That's right. I mean, the, this, this this was basically, uh, I, th I think what it is, several factors. I first started my first Facebook group back in 2010. Mm um and that's still going and then i've been admin of belivers since the belivers group began and i mm -hmm. post there every day i've got to because i'm the guy who posts the show card yeah um so it's things like that that get noticed and um it's very interesting mix of groups i've got to say that the majority of people there just from just from our point of view between 30 and 50 has to okay. be said so i was an outlier um, so you were the oldest guy in the room I'm not saying that, David. I'm not saying that. I never say that. The thing I love about live video is there's no ageism, David. And uh, <laughs> no, um, I mean it. It, it was a, a very eclectic group of people, and uh, I'm just happy to be right place, right time. It isn't. It, the, the thing is, it's not. It's something that I've done, um, rather than being sort of put up for it. It's because of what I've been doing on Facebook. 
Well, that's that's kind of uh, what I was getting to. Is that it's uh, it's you know we all want this, uh, especially in the live stream world. We all want this growth. We all want these views. You know, if you go to YouTube, Twitch, everybody wants to be up there. There's, I can tell you the secret. Okay, I'm listening. Right, I, settles in I chair. Told this to my class and other people. You got to put the work into it. <laughs> to totally true. You totally know, true. There's a lot of there's a lot of sacrifice. There's there's a lot of time. There's a lot of there's a lot of a lot of things, right? And that's just that's it, whatever you take on whatever you're doing and, and you want to be super successful at it yeah. it's and and time it's it's going to take some time yeah once in a while people get lucky overnight and blah, 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 but yeah. it takes time so good it for does. you Steve. thank you and you 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 also got to be focused oh okay. for sure i mean the, the the focus that i've had for the last two years two and a half years has been be live tv and facebook video and that's where my attention is. And that's what's, what's paid dividends, is actually yeah. just being focused. I, mean, we, I have the odd foray onto Twitch and onto YouTube and uh, what's the other one I called? Um, Twitter, the video. Mm. But my home is Facebook Live and Be Live TV. And I keep coming back to that. I can't, don't want to go away from it, really. There's only so many hours in the day, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, I and talking with my class last week, uh, of course, they're they're the younger demographic, like most of them are yeah. not on Facebook. Um, most of them and and a lot of them, they want to live. So I'm part of a, a big course and mm -hmm. it's live stream programming. And yeah. I had to say to them last week, listen, because I've talked, I've introduced be live to them. Mm -hmm. and I've introduced uh, uh, OBS and a few platforms, but I threw BeLive in there because I think it's important for them to understand that there's all types of different live streaming. And I had to tell them, guys, this course is not called live streaming to Twitch. This course is called live stream programming. Mm -hmm. And that means it's not all about Twitch, but that's... Yep. That's where a lot of them are at, right? Because they took yeah. a course called eSports and Entrepreneurship. So I've had to throw in there. Um, I've had to try to keep their attention because a, a, a few of them are like, oh, that's kind of cool. But most of them are like, yep, get through this part, please. <laughs> right. And they're, that's fine. Yeah. They, and their yeah. project at the end, they have to pick a production they're going to do. And I suspect that most of them will pick up on OBS and go to Twitch and whatever. that's okay. That's fine because that's their passion and what they want to do. But, um, uh, they have you know, to be aware I, of what else is available. Yeah. And especially there's a few that are like, I don't even intend to ever live stream, like as far as getting in front of the camera, but I want to be the guy that runs things. Uh -huh. Okay. So you need to be aware of the options that are out there because you might be doing something and you want to do a talk show and you're like, okay, so we got to set up the scene and I got to, or you can just go click, right? You need to know about this anyway. So it's interesting, but uh, uh, I'll keep you posted on it's It's been a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, there's been those, those, those challenges sometimes because of the, the demographic. And that's why, and I did say to them, I said, guys, don't, don't, don't kick Facebook to the curb because Facebook does have a lot of things um, that would be good for you to promote your Twitch channel. That be, you should be engaging in all that. You know, anyway, I don't want to give a lesson, but um, <laughs> I think some of them have live streamed their, their video games to Facebook, though. Right. Uh, okay. But a lot of them, what they tend to say is that Facebook's too busy. Facebook's too busy for me. And I go, well, what do you mean? Like Instagram, you take a picture, bloop, you post it. Yeah. So, That's all there is to it. There's no news feed, really. There's no mumble jumbo. There's no drama. That was the other thing they said. They said they uh, they don't like the drama or the, the, the uh, we don't have freedom of speech. No, no. Anyway. <laughs> all right. Okay. The, the bots are working because Mr. Peter Stewart is now on the right page. Oh, so okay. He, he, must, he must have been on a live video, I hope. Uh, and there's a comment from Miles. I'm just trying to. I don't have everybody's picture. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, go ahead. 
Uh, Facebook for Business with Messenger and all the new accommodations, advertising, live video, groups and pages still be attractive to every person in business. Wise words. Right. That's a, that's a good way to put it. And 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 to that point of, of teaching the esports and stuff, um, those uh, there's quite a few that they go, I want to I want to be a full time streamer. Great. Uh -huh. You can't just sit down and play video games. You have to treat it like a business. Yeah. What you do, Stephen, live streaming, it's a business. What I do here is a business. And this talk show and my other talk show on Facebook, it's just a part of the business. Yes. And uh, it, that's a good point. There and you should be. Everybody should be using Facebook for business, as far as I'm concerned. I agree. Let's see. Uh, trying to catch up. Okay. Uh, well, Karina right. here makes a good point. He says, but most important, important, better audio. And if you don't have audio, people won't be able to hear. So microphone audio is important and clear webcam. I, uh, I'll touch on that real quick. If you ha you can have awesome video and crappy audio, mm -hmm. and people will leave you. Totally true. You, totally you can have so-so video and awesome audio, and they'll still keep giving you a chance. <laughs> That's true. I mean, the thing is, you don't need to spend a for fortune on a mic. Um, a decent one, and you know, the lapel mic or a freestanding one, and that investment allows you to go off and do. I mean, I'm using the lapel mic, which is recommended by Udemy, and uh, that works well. Uh, you don't, I mean, this is always the question. There was a question earlier today in the Udemy instructors group. And he's this guy had sat down and looked at people's studios, and people have got a soundproof studio. They've got three screens, they've got <laughs> microphones, they've got everything. They spent a few thousand dollars. And he was saying, well, I can't afford that setup. Uh, and then you can't hear with the Pell mic. I've got a C920 and I've got the lights and that's it. So my total budget for this lot is about $250. Um, so it can be done. You don't need to spend the thousands, yeah. do you? No, I mean, I when I when uh, before I'm using the mic I'm using now. Yeah. Uh oh, I'm knocking things over. Can you hear all that noise? <laughs> this microphone right here is a USB microphone. Uh huh. From? I know the story. Yeah. And and, and it's uh, there's a game called Rock Band where uh -huh. you, you this people as a singer. Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And. Uh, I picked that up at the local, we call it the Sally Ann or the Goodwill store uh -huh. for like $2. And it's a fantastic microphone. You, you've heard right. me. I used it for the longest time. It's good, had yep. great sound. Yep. Um, and then I, I just went out and bought myself a Yeti, which is about about 130 bucks Canadian. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my other microphone was working great. So why did I buy this? It had, it's got some features on it so that I can set it so it picks up just my voice or I can set it. If someone was sitting across from me, I can right. another set. So it had a little flexibility for me and some of my yeah. purposes, but yeah. to do just a talk show, I could have stuck with that one. Yeah. Play around with stuff. So for, for Peter, that's a, a blue Yeti or a, it's a blue Yeti, but black in color. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a blue Yeti. All uh, right. Okay. What type of mic please. Uh, Right. Just when you when you're doing an OB, as we say in the uh, in the trade, an outside broadcast. Which microphone do you use then? Um, what's it called? So you don't carry the blue yeah. Yeti around with you. What's that? No, no, I don't carry the Yeti around with you. No, when I'm doing the mobile stuff, like yep. the handheld that I have, that's a that's yep. a wireless microphone. Mm -hmm. uh it has a, a usb as the receiver all right it's, i think it's made by pile p-y-l-e okay. and it's not very expensive um you know it has its limited range right but uh it, yeah it's good for that on the, on the scene today kind of stuff yes indeed um, but you do need a uh, if you're using it on a, an iphone you do need a camera what's called a camera adapter so that you can plug that in your phone and then you can plug the usb into it but uh, yeah, I have two of them. They work great. Yeah. Um, when I do my uh, hockey broadcasts, I have 
headsets, which are gaming headsets. Somebody says, those are gaming headsets. We bought them because they have good sound on them. And yes, they look cool and it stands out and people walk right. by and they see it and they go, oh, what's going on over there? That's why we did it. Um, they were 30 bucks a piece and they go into a mixer. I mean, it, it all depends on your purpose, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's been, we could do a whole Udemy course on microphones. <laughs> you know? That's true. Indeed. Now, talking of uh, sound or lack of sound, in this particular case, somebody posted in the Belivers group today about live captioning. And yes. um, we know that you can caption after the event because Facebook are getting pretty good on that. And you can just switch captioning on and uh, over 90% accuracy off the top of my head. And uh, your video has been transcribed. But yes. if you want real time captioning, do you have thoughts on that, sir? I do. You do? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, you do? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Okay. Hello, Alfredo. Nice to see you. And, hey, Alfredo. Uh, All right. Now, if right. I just figure out what I'm doing. Over to you, sir. Okay. This is my favorite. Test one, two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four. So, oh, look. There's captioning on the screen. Oh, I paid somebody a bazillion dollars to sit beside me and type this all in. And as you can see, they can type very, very fast and they're really, really good at it. <laughs> but if I, if I speak, they can't do me. Yeah, that's right. So this is, uh, this is something it's called <clears throat> webcaptioner.com. And, uh, it's very accurate as you can see. And uh, positive and negative. It's really good if you're doing a solo show. If it's just you and that's all that's going to be talking, then this is great. You go to webcaptioner.com, you click start captioning, screen share it, away you go. It's very popular on Twitch because a lot of people on Twitch are just talking by themselves. Right. You, you can make it work so that you and I, it would pick up you, Stephen, as well, but that's not a simple explanation. No. Nope. So if you're wanting web captioning for just a solo talk show this is a sweet deal webcaptioner.com and um it's re it's re it's really appreciated by uh, you know there's a lot of people uh i, I even uh, shared it with the city here because uh AO, aode compatibility right accessibility uh, anyway um so this is Something that I think a lot of people have been looking for for a while. I wish that I had this a couple of years ago because uh, there were some instances that I maybe could have gotten a job uh, broadcasting had I been able to supply this kind of thing. So that's very impressive. Yeah, you can see how accurate it is, eh? Truly. How about? Hmm. Oh, that's very, and, very impressive. And you can um, you can change the sensitivity, that sort of thing. You can even set, I believe, um, profanity so that it blocks, like if I say something to the effect of whatever, it will put in asterisk, those little star thingies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> asterisks. I can yeah. never say that. Asterisk the goal. Um, Here you go. So... <laughs> That's asterisk, wasn't it? Not asterisks. Um, Miles has made a comment. Thanks for the web capture, Justin. I've not heard about that one before. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, I've known about this for a while and, and quite some time. I, well, probably about six to eight months. And I was going to put together a little video. Anyway, it never happened. And I just happened to um, see something in the Be Livers group today. And uh, there you go. You heard it here first, folks. You say that David guy. He's the one that told me all about this. <laughs> right. Okay. Now, Pete, Pete, Facebook guy. Pete, Peter, I'm totally impressed, and so is Miles. Peter's asking, what is this useful? Uh, if you were going live on your own and you wanted to have subtitles as you were speaking, and that's very important for somebody who's watching your show who is deaf, then you could do so live. As David said, you share screen bring it up into the broadcast and as you're speaking your speech is is well effectively 
yeah. displayed on the screen and it will be in the recording as well that's right um i've got corinda here in the lobby so uh i'll just real quickly okay and uh alfredo is saying that he's messed up the guest button he said so next we... time he's got to go back to work all right okay have a good day alfredo thanks for alfredo um yeah and if you have an for example an audio feed coming in you can use it for say if you were doing a well alfredo does his church broadcast for example yeah that's right if he's got an audio feed coming into his system he could route it so that this picks it up and web captioning and that's very popular in church broadcasts because there's a lot of older people going so mm. there's more so it's very very useful for that yeah um and people appreciate it webcaptioner.com it's a fantastic service all right so now i'll go over to our friend perinder who's going to come on for look at that a half an hour's gone by hello oh. corinder hello corinder yeah so i like i like that meeting where you show it but one question you ask is when you show that video and you got the text what like how do you put like your microphone in it basically sorry david no you go ahead no it's it's actually basically it's one person broadcasting the website can hear the audio from your computer it then translates what you're saying into text so for one person it works fine and you do a screen share and it will of course appear in the recording next to you oh okay yeah yeah so all you need to do is, is be on your desktop well david can you explain the steps of actually getting it running yes yeah, so here, uh, here's I'll, I'll do it live how about that okay why not we have the technology so i'll go right right from scratch here okay i can figure out what i'm doing there we go okay so we're gonna go to web cap shun <laughs> see i can't type okay. web cap can't, can't spell uh miles is saying it's very helpful uh if someone is watching your video live video and setting with other people so captioning comes in when you've got to be on silent in silent mode yeah. and the volume can be off but you can still enjoy the video and you i find myself i mean you when you're surfing on mobile it is good to have uh, captions there especially i mean the, the television studios all do it so if you're watching cnn or cbs then the captioning is on That's automatically right. yeah and as far as um captioning on any video is concerned after you've been live you can use facebook to do that and that's post-production just edit the post and it will add facebook's own version that's whilst right. you're live though this is one of the few systems that i've ever heard of and the bonus is that it's free back to you david yeah um and and uh, the point to that too is that um on Facebook, especially when people are going through the newsfeed and they see the web caption, they're more likely to click on your video. 10% more likely. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I didn't know there was a, there's a stat for everything. Oh, there is. You've been so it. Webcapture.com, you just it. click on start captioning. So you can see down here in the bottom corner, right? Clickety click. Clickety click. Clickety click, Bob trick. It's very, very accurate, very well done. And then I'm just screen sharing. That's all I'm doing. Now, if I had a different microphone, then yeah, you can go into your, you'd go into your Chrome browser, into your settings, and then go down to advanced. Today's tutorial brought to you by uh, content settings. And then you click on your microphone and you can change your microphone, whichever you want to use there. So, by rights, if you had, uh, say, open broadcaster software or voice meter or something running, and you, if you're tech savvy enough to play around with that, I could set it up so that it would pick up me and everybody on here, or if I'm playing a YouTube video or whatever. But it's very simplicity designed for one person. Start talking, and it starts doing that. And it, that's all you got to do. It's that simple. 
And if you don't want to see any more, click stop captioning. And right here, because you're enjoying it, they're okay with you donating some money to them as well, which I have done. Well, so. and all programmers need to eat, has That's to right. be said. And uh, donationware is absolutely brilliant. Because it's not a fixed subscription. You can just pay them what you want. So if you're happy that day and you want to spend $10, spend $10. If you're just using it a one-off, you just give them a dollar. It all helps. That's right. So there you go, web captioner today. Hey, hey. Mm. Holding out the idea that for posting, even you know that IFTT, if that, if this, that, oh. If this, that, uh, if, this, if this and that. Yeah. yeah. I, I look at it and on my setting, it says stop posting Facebook to Twitter. Like, if okay. you stop posting the Facebook to your Twitter thing, so that everything you, you write on the Twitter. On Facebook, or on Facebook, or on Twitter, like anything on Twitter, go to your Facebook. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Did... I... Yeah. Go ahead, Stephen. So you you can have a recipe which goes from Facebook to Twitter for any post on Facebook, and it will pick up all new posts on your personal profile and on your page. So two separate recipes for that. Well, not called recipes anymore, are they? And then the other way is you can actually post anything from Facebook, Twitter onto your Facebook feed. So, yeah, that works. But it doesn't, it doesn't really get over this problem of what happens as soon as you go live. And that's where live cross-posting comes in, uh, both on TVSN and on the live video hub and on the talk show network. I'm catching up, David. Um, all the these sites network, have been... Talk show network and blah, 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 <laughs> and the U.S. network. Holy moly. <laughs> is the U.S. network yours? No, not mine. No, no. I that's think that's fun. That's fun, yeah. Yeah. That's fun, yeah. 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 But I got here the new two new shows. I'm not here at Who Have a Liking, where I find Stephen and David, which is Four party show and self defense. And I thought to Dreamy Eye, because like, I knew Dreamy Eye and really I got TV. Right. I knew you in the Dreamy Eye wink. Right. Just a minute. Whoop, 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 whoop. The one thing we don't talk about on BeLive.tv is StreamYard. Mm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. I didn't hear that. That was going on. So yeah. no, no, no. It's not. It's not official. But I mean, promoting Streamyard and the Be Live broadcast is is rather strange, really. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. If you if you drop a link to your show in afterwards, Corinda, that would be good. Uh, yeah. Thanks for joining us and have a good show. Thank you. Thanks, Corinda. Okay. All good. And a comment from Kelly. I just try. I just tried it, went to Dropbox for saving. I was not on that. <laughs> Stop <laughs> talking to your phone, Kelly, and type <laughs> something. <laughs> you know that's what's happening. Or is yeah. autocorrect giving him a hard time? I think what he's trying to say is, I just tried it. I think he's talking about the, the bot yeah. thing. I just tried it, went to Dropbox. I don't get that. For saving. Yeah, it's, uh, hmm. You know what he means? Okay, he was talking. He was talking about uh, the uh, real-time text system. I don't know. I don't know. No. Now, can we have a few more words on that, please? Uh, well, yeah. you know what, you know what, uh, Stephen. I got to tell you, I I'm getting a little sick and tired of this Kelly guy coming in here and typing and typing and typing, and he just won't get on camera with us. Come on, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> um, be live tv mobile phone come in no problem right, at all right mobile phone um, right you'll say he's okay. got bad lighting or something <laughs> okay now catching up on something which happened last uh friday sure uh facebook are merging instagram whatsapp and messenger yeah that's interesting it is isn't it mm hmm because th this is a, I mean, basically what they have at the moment is three separate apps and you're either on WhatsApp, you're on Messenger 
or you're on um, Instagram. And you can't send a message from Instagram to Facebook. You can't send any message from Facebook to Instagram. So in other words, what they're planning to do in the, by year end or by 2020 um, is they're going to have one core messaging system. So it be the same messaging system across all three platforms, which means theoretically, because we don't know the detail yet, that you could send a create a message on Facebook Messenger and send it to selected friends on Instagram and WhatsApp. That's the way I'm looking at it. So you can actually get a message out to people, whichever application they're on. But incredibly, there are people who are on Facebook Messenger who will never go near WhatsApp. And there are mm. people on WhatsApp who will never go near Facebook Messenger. But if you've got a core messaging system, it means that because we are cross-platform guys, we can talk to friends on WhatsApp, friends on Messenger, friends on Instagram, all at the same time in the one uh, messaging app. And that's what I'm looking Excellent. forward to. The, the other thing there is that if it's based around the core of Facebook Messenger, and I've got fingers crossed here, if Facebook Messenger is the sort of center of the universe, then all our bots, all our wonderful bots that we use every day will work not just on Messenger, but they'll work across to WhatsApp and to Instagram. Right. Now that's, that's, yeah. Yeah. That would be magical. Interesting. Oh, Kelly's talking about web captioner. Web captioner. Okay. Yeah. Just tried it, went to drop, but I still don't understand. Okay. So you tried web captioner, but I just tried it, went to Dropbox for saving. I was not on live video. I don't, I don't understand. You're not on live video at the time. Details, Kelly. Details. <laughs> if you won't come on camera, take the time to type it all. He's just uh, two noisy dogs barking and stuff, so that right. probably doesn't work okay. well. Okay, all right. Peter's here in the lobby. Okay. If you're watching on the live video hub or on Be Live in Five, please say hello. You'll get a personal message from David and I, which will bring you directly to the TVSM page where you can comment directly and david we were to see your comments and feature on screen hello peter hello hey, good day to, sir i've got to see i like that web capture but i put a question but nobody seemed to find it here's a question with web capture can you make a pre-recorded video that picks up everything you say then send it out later without going live to begin with so uh, well, yeah. I, okay. So here, here's the answer to your question. You don't have to be live right now to use web captioner. Right. I can see we're not live. I just pull up. So when you pull up, go to webcaptioner.com and click start captioning. It's going to pick up whatever your default microphone is. Right. So if you want to sit there and record a video and do it. Yes. Yes. yes you can do that. Okay. okay. So now, is there anywhere where the wording is kept that you can then copy and paste it? Um, I, actually, I think there might be. As if that, is, that would be absolutely fantastic. I yeah. typing. I'm not 100% sure. Um, there's a there's a, there is a help section there, and it, it's it's very it's very friendly. Right at the beginning, you just okay. click on. The, the drop down arrow and click on help and it takes you you can change the font size you can change the font i think you can there's all kinds of different settings that you can change there and i think i saw but i'm not 100 percent sure i've got a friend who sends his videos to think it's spain or something right and he pays for it when it can come on automatically for him i must tell right. him about that. it's been very good It'll save yeah. her money, and it'll buy me more coffee. Um, and you, you can tell her to send some of that money here if you want. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, uh, really you know, David in Canada. What a, what a fantastic piece of kit. Yeah. <laughs> Incidentally, when I come on tonight, uh, it's on my own page, and I come on, and when you when, when you put that... Uh, you want to come on? The link doesn't work on iPad. No, you can't hyperlink it. I have to find never, you. never, never has, never will. All right, okay, fine. So I've got to find David Burroughs. 
That's who I've got to find, which I've done. That's how I got on. But no, I think that web catch now is absolutely marvellous. Yeah, yeah, it's a great service. It's a great I wonder service. if it understands Scottish accents. It, um, understand, it understands 40 languages, Peter. Whether Scots is one of them, I don't know. Wow. Look at yeah. Stephen. I, I just introduced him to web captioner today. He's been sitting there the whole time pretending he's listening to us, and he's been reading up on web captioner. <laughs> and, yeah. and you you can save the uh, transcription to a file on your local hard drive. You can, right. Okay. And you can, yeah. So you can then put that same... So basically, you could talk something in a video, take it, and then put it on your blog. Yeah. Fantastic. Text file, right? That was a Use. good bit of kit, though. Yeah. Put it... Uh, Put it, take your text file and put it wherever you want to put it. Now, if you make a mistake, could you then rectify it and then put it back in the video? Well, now you're, well, you, you could. I mean, you're 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 getting now you're getting into a whole world of video editing. Yeah, right? so no, I know. This, this is design. So its design was for live broadcasting. Correct. So that's that's what it's designed for. Now, if you want to play with workarounds and figure other stuff out, I'm sure you can do that. But its design is for live broadcasting. Yeah. No. And I mean, I mean, at the moment on Facebook, you can upload a video to Facebook, a recorded video, and you can edit it and you can turn tra transcription on, and Facebook will do the transcription for you. Um, and that's been around for quite a while. It's getting better and better. And because you're not live, you can then go in and you can edit the text. So if it's, it's misheard anything, you can edit the text there and then. And that's a Facebook feature. Okay. As, as David said, this the web captioner, which David has been talking about, is about live. It's not about recorded. Okay. Recorded has been. Know, does it work with Facebook Live? Correct. So it works, okay, it works with anything. You don't have to be live. You, you go to webcapture.com, and if I start talking into my microphone, mm -hmm. it picks up in the web browser whatever's there. Wow. So it's up to you to screen share it or however you want to use it. But, again, its design is for live, mm -hmm. and... It comes up on your screen, like it's up on my screen right now. I'm just not screen sharing it. But you don't have to be live. You could be just sitting there, and if you want to sit there and talk to your, it's up, someone, your, it's up in your <laughs> screen. Why, why aren't we seeing it just now, then? Because I'm not sharing it. Right, but it's cap capturing what you're seeing. Yeah, well, it was a second ago until I just clicked and clicked stop captioning. But it doesn't capture what I'm seeing. It can't hear you. No. Well, that's a, I, I, I think that's a fantastic bit of kit. Well done for finding that. Yeah. Very good. Peter, thanks so much for coming on. No problem. Enjoy the rest of your day, sir. Cheers, Pete. So you said okay. 40 languages it picks up? It does 40. Sorry, I'm, I'm scrolling down the page. 40 languages and dialects, it says. Uh, you can save to file. But ostensibly, I mean, the demonstration was perfect of exactly what it does, and it picks up a Canadian accent without any problem at all and really? transcribes it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we need. <laughs> well, it is a great service, and there's lots of purposes for it. And, uh, yeah, you can do other things with it that it wasn't designed for, but, uh, it, you know, it depends on your knowledge. But, again, it's, yeah, it's designed for live broadcasting, one person picking that up, yeah. right? Yeah. There's always work around. Yeah. No, and no, you make it with no. Facebook. Uh, I think a lot of people forget about that, Stephen, that sit down, record your video, upload it to Facebook, and then when it's done, you can go back in and into the edit post. And maybe that's something we could do on a show next oh, week yeah. or something. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, and, it, and I'll let you do that because you're, you're, your, you know more about that than me. <laughs> but it, uh, that's a good that Facebook has. Okay, yep, it is, it is. Um, and as has been said uh, by uh, earlier, 
Um, it is very important if you have to have the sound turned down. And as Miles was saying, uh, you know, for anybody who can't hear what's being said, to be able to see what's being said. And as you said, it actually, if, if the text is there running, then it will stop people scrolling. Yeah, yeah it's, it's concentrate on your show. Yeah, it's, uh, would you say it's 10% more likely? It is, yeah, according to Facebook. If you go, if you go, if you go to captions, uh, it just says there's a link that says, "Let me explain why you should have captions." And when you press that link, it says, "If video with captions has 10% greater attractability." That's a new word, isn't it? Attraction factor. Attract. <laughs> Attractability. Attraction factor. Wow. Well, this is uh, there's a lot of information that, that just showed up today. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, chock full. Yeah. yeah. Um, are you still are you still live on Twitch? Are you still doing Twitch? Uh, am I still doing Twitch? I plan to do. Uh, although yeah. with with everything that's gone on since since the 4th of january effectively because then we had five days live and then i went to dublin and then i came back and yes i am i am yeah. uh, and yeah. just a shout out to for fons chamberlain uh, fons is live today at 3 p.m eastern on twitch if you're in belivers you'll find the link in the chat and uh i'm gonna try and join him sometime during that hour that he oh, is okay. live. on his show. channel on his channel yeah all right. Brand new show. Is it the Cambridge Historian on, on Twitch or what is it? It is Cambridge Historian on Twitch. Okay. And um, also a shout out. Uh, can't say too much yet because we just want to firm things up. But Fonz and I are live at 9 a.m. Eastern. Sorry, 10 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. <laughs> How can I slip up, David? At 10 a.m. Eastern tomorrow with I Live Here. Uh, right. It's a two two part show. I can tell you about the first part. The second part is a mystery. Uh, but for the first half of the show, Fonz and I have been in the studio talking, and we're going to go for a short journey along the Kennington Avon Canal. A short video I made uh, a couple of weeks ago to explain all about the canal. And then at 9:30, we have a change of pace, and uh, looking forward to that. Yeah, for sure. A um, uh, bit, bit of a change of plan on part two of your show tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I. But I was talking about you and uh, uh, Fonz in my class the other day. Um, uh -huh. I've been sharing the BeLive platform and some other platforms, and and uh, uh, I showed a, a quick video from the past of it, and they were they were they were intrigued. They were like, "Oh, that's kind of cool, right?" You know uh because mm -hmm. i'm trying to and a lot of them are i want to stream on twitch and play video games and that's cool yeah but uh, when i showed them that there was a little more there was a little more reaction than before when i just said oh there's this thing you can do talk shows with and that's kind of yeah. all i heard the rest with wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> so it gave an appreciation of what's possible yeah it did actually yeah. it did actually because we had talked about you know doing live reporting for sports for example and that kind of thing uh -huh. so um that was good yeah so your face was in my classroom. Oh. Okay, I'm good with that. Thank you, sir. And then, and then who's the other? Who's the other guy? Boy, he what did, uh, wasn't you. It was when Fonz was talking, because he's got a significantly different accent than you, right? Well, yes, yeah. I mean, this is regional accents. Uh, well, it's totally different. I mean, Fonz was born and has always lived in Cambridge, um, so his accent is the Cambridgeshire accent. Me, I've travelled about a bit, and my accent, I've got a Lancashire accent, I think Manchester, and I can talk Lancashire, and I can talk about bustles, and I can talk about weather, but my accent was, was sort of uh, fashioned when I went to live in Cumbria, and that's the Lake District, so I've got a sort of hybrid accent, uh, okay. which means it's difficult to place where it comes from, right, which right. is probably very helpful. Well, it, it, it finds his accent uh reminds me of uh an old the old scrooge movie a christmas carol all right okay yeah original uh-huh and 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 his uh 
his maid or whatever she was, you know, she mm-hmm. talked with a very heavy, heavy, old, I call, I just call it old English. I don't know. <laughs> I'll do. Yeah. Respectively. I don't know. Cause I wouldn't know what else to call it. Uh, Peter, okay. sorry, one sec, Peter, you're still there. Can you, can you close your app? You're still, you just, there you go. Bye bye. Yeah. See you next time. I kept looking down. It was distracting. I'm like, is he ready? Yeah, to yeah, Scott. yeah. Well, it, it, there is another thing here. I just want to come to this for a particular reason. Sure. When you are producing the show, and you're producing any show, you've got the f- four screens at the top of the broadcast section. You can fill those up. You've got another ten underneath. Every time you fill a box, you're taking up your computer's resources in terms of memory and in terms of bandwidth. Yeah. Because the very fact that you're seeing Peter means that you're receiving a signal from Peter, which is going to Israel or wherever, and then it comes back to you, and that's a drain on your broadband. Yeah. If you're producing a show and you're not on camera, then what I've discovered is that if you switch off your video feed when you're producing a show and are not on camera, then you can save your computer's resources and uh, your broadband, and the whole shebang runs a lot easier your cpu will drop to around 40 percent if you take yourself off screen so producing a show then appear on screen unless of course you happen to be the co-host in which case you've got to appear on screen well that's a good point i think and 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 that was in the back of my mind with peter sitting there um he's taking up a little bit of the piece right i mean i'm pretty fortunate i've got some ninja stuff going on here but you have That's a good point. But not everybody's like that, right? Like Brigetti, poor Brigetti. Someday she'll have awesome internet. Yeah. And someday she's got to tether her phone. And yeah, yeah. And host a show. Yeah. Um, so sometimes I don't know how she does it, but she gets a good show out. Um, has to be said. And we, we're fortunate because we are both in the, U- well, in the US, Canada and the UK. We have decent broadband. And we are so fortunate because you look at people across India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, all they have is a mobile phone and not a very good connection. And we are just so fortunate on that note. That's me in wheelchair. Yeah, absolutely. Agreed. We're fortunate that way for sure. Uh, Karinder is asking me, David, do you have Sport Channel in Canada? Uh, Yes, we have several. We have uh the sports network we have sports net we have espn we have the video show network we have <laughs> okay and w- which one shows canadian cricket ha <laughs> no wait wait, have... wait wait do you hear it <laughs> no not that sort of cricket <laughs> oh oh the game thing <laughs> yeah so, um probably Probably TSN. Yeah. Yeah, they would show yeah. it. It's, uh, it's, um, it's not as popular as curling in Canada. No. But no. you pointed out to me last year that it's it's more popular than I thought it was. So Yeah. And it's not as popular in Ireland as Gaelic football. So there you are. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Welcome to the sports show today, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Next up. I, I, I'm not talking about football at the moment. It's the FA Cup at the moment, uh, Football Session Cup, in which every team in the country gets to to uh, play. And you're talking about uh, county teams, town teams, village teams, all getting the one competition. And eventually you get down to 128 teams. Then you get down to 64. Now, uh, with a round of 16 at the moment, and my team, Burnley, played at the weekend, and they were, I think they were beaten. Manchester, Manchester City 5, Burnley nil. There you go. I've admitted it. I've said it. <laughs> well, okay. I'm, yeah, I don't, I don't even understand the game cricket. So That's maybe, okay. Maybe you'll have to... Uh, explain that to me someday i mean i know a ball gets thrown and they hit it but i you know because a, a cricket game can go on for days can it five days one game one, one game five days is that 
always five days or it could go that long it could go that long five days is the maximum uh some matches finish after three or four days uh then they rarely i'll give you an indication they rarely sell tickets in advance for the fifth day right yeah? so from a commercial point of view the first four days are the money makers and the fifth day we re when we get there you actually pay on the day oh, yeah. okay yeah, that's wow. the way it works <sighs> cricket trying to get me to play chess <laughs> but I... well, that's that's alfredo alfredo's working we're safe we're safe for the moment in actual fact um we alfredo and i met jim Sorry, i don't know that one <laughs> Alfredo, Alfredo and I met James, uh, who is a chess player, real chess player, as I said, and he's joining the show on Twitch, 10 a.m. Eastern on Wednesday. Oh, Just okay. Like yeah. Bert. So, chess and chat is back. Well, because I, 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 I sort of said to Alfredo, I said I, I uh, appreciate. I, it's not on my bucket list at the moment. <laughs> right. I can understand. I can totally understand. I got other stuff going on, but that doesn't say it could never happen. So, uh, Stephen, we're one minute past the hour. Thanks uh, well, for being here. It's nice to have you back. RJ was here last week, and her and I had a lot of fun too. I but, could, I saw, watched the replays. You knew I would, and yes, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, we had a good time. Good to watch. She'll be joining us, I'm sure. She'll have lots to talk about when she gets back from her trip. And uh, yeah, so next week, maybe we could talk about the, the editing the Facebook thing. Okay, yeah, we can we can do that. We can show how to get a transcription we're using Facebook. Yeah. Now, this is where B Live, and I'm, I think they've probably got it on their list. This would be handy. Yeah. If I could hand the controls over to you. Yes. Indeed. Now I have to learn how to do it, and while you talk, I have to produce it. Indeed. That's okay. I'll learn something. There's right. always a way. There's always a way. That's right. Uh, Everybody, thank you so much uh, for watching here today. I appreciate you uh, popping in and out, and Kelly and, and Mike and Krinder and Peter and everybody for popping in. And Miles. Uh, and Miles, that's who I was trying to remember. All right. Uh, okay, yep. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed the show, give us a 10 in the comments below. And if you didn't like it, do nothing except come back and give us another chance next week. <laughs> <laughs> From Wiltshire in England, it's goodbye for now. See you later. All right. Thanks, everybody. I'll be live again on uh, the show with David Burroughs at 3.30 this afternoon. Uh, this afternoon. Until then, take care. Bye.